What I like to do in Final Cut is create an event for each camera and then that way I'm able to drag the footage into separate events within a library and then highlight all of the camera shots, go into the information section in the inspector on the right hand side and then name each of the shots by each camera name. It will significantly improve and speed up the results of syncing your footage. Once you've done that, highlight all of your shots by selecting either the library or all of the events which will bring up every single shot in your library and then right click and create a multi-camera clip. In this you will set your resolution settings which I would personally set as the lowest resolution format in your selected clips otherwise it's going to upscale or downscale as appropriate. So you may want to set something as 1080p if you have a bunch of 1080p shots and maybe one 4k shot. It depends on what you want and how you want to edit this project. When it asks you what kind of rendering you want that just applies to the kind of codec that it's going to create when it builds render files. It's advisable that maybe you use ProRes 14 422 ProRes 422 LT or 422 Proxy if you're going to be building up lots of render files as it may become an issue with hard drive space. After a couple of minutes your footage will have synced up and you'll be able to make individual edits to the clips per camera. If you haven't had that much luck and you cause problems feel free to manually go through if there have been any issues with syncing up your footage. If things haven't lined up how you'd want them or things are way off what you can do is a tiny bit of manual correction. Have a look at the file size and numbers as a good indication of whether things are in the right order. Try and make some rough manual corrections and then you can select all. Click on the little tab on the far left hand side and there's an option to sync the current selection against the master angle and make sure your master angle is set as either a reliable audio mix or the main master visual mix that will be the ideal reference to sync your footage. You can also add markers. This will help sync up the footage if you know when things started and ended or a good example would be to clap before and after your recording if you're in doubt. Once your footage has synced up, all you need to do is double click on the multicam clip and you can then make edits to any of the individual clips. If you want to create a new project, you can drag the multicam clip from your library onto the timeline and then begin editing straight away. If you press Command, Shift and 7, this will bring up your angles viewer which you can change between 4, 9 and 16 angles. In this viewer, you're able to select between audio and visual cutting, audio cutting or video cutting and just make sure you have the right one selected. Also be aware that while the multi angle viewer is up you won't be able to see your color scopes although you can alternate between those using command 7 and command shift 7. Once everything's set up and looking good you can begin cutting your footage how you usually would and I hope that's been really helpful for you. Thanks so much, subscribe and stay tuned for more.